Hello everybody, this is Dead Meat and welcome to a tutorial of how to play Grand Prix 2 with a modern PC, Windows 10, racing wheel and pedals. So yeah, soon we are starting out our hardcore season of Grand Prix 2 and by the way, to check that out, subscribe! So, once that series starts on the channel, I know I'll get a lot of questions of how did I manage to make this very old game to work with a modern PC and modern racing wheel. So, I decided to make this little tutorial so I can refer to this when people start asking about things. First of all, we use DOSBox to run the game, but not the conventional one. Uh, use DOSBox SVN Dome instead. It is like the normal DOSBox, but it runs the game with correct speed, whereas the normal DOSBox runs it way too fast. Uh, lowering cycles does not help with this issue, so you should use DOSBox SVM Dome because of that. You can check out the speed comparison on the video. Uh, seriously, this game is difficult enough. You don't need to add extra difficulty by the game running too fast. You'll find a link in the description where you can download the DOSBox SVN Dome. And I want to thank Leachim Leachim for this tip. Without him, I would not know it. Next, we'll check out the racing wheel settings in Windows. Now, I have Trustmaster T500RS, but similar settings should apply to other racing wheels as well. So, in Trustmaster control panel, I have set the wheel rotation to 300 degrees. This feels good and natural to me, but obviously you can adjust according to your taste. Pedal axis can and should be separated. Auto center settings must come from the wheel, not from the game, since uh, the game obviously does not have force feedback. Otherwise you get no resistance from the wheel and you don't get any feel of how much you should turn it. The centering force of the wheel I have set 100%. Running the game! I'm not going to teach you how to use DOSBox, for there are many great tutorials out there if you're a noob. Uh, however, these are the joystick settings in the config file. DOSBox should recognize your wheel automatically when you start it and it should be usable in the game. Also, make sure you have aspect correction on and find the best screen setting for your monitor. I myself run GP2 in full screen mode. So, let's start the game! These are the control settings in the game. The only problem here is that the steering is very sensitive in high speeds in a straight line. So, you can add dead zone if you like. I personally don't like dead zone with racing games that have no force feedback, because without force feedback you have no way of feeling when the dead zone ends and the steering bites, so to say. So you end up easily spinning the car in corner and entry. Also, I don't like speed sensitive steering because it makes the steering inconsistent. And that's it! Calibrate your wheel and pedals and you're good to go! In my opinion, this game is a lot of fun to drive with wheel and pedals and the driving feels as it should. Uh, it's hard and you have to keep your focus, but that's how it is, it's Formula 1. Physics are obviously not as detailed and fine-tuned as in modern sims, but they make sense and they feel right. If you want to follow my full season with full-length races without any assists, full damage and hardest difficulty, subscribe! Races are streamed live and of course they are view viewable in YouTube afterwards. For the end, enjoy this little 4-lap quick race if you want. Thanks and bye!